A short video documenting a rehearsal for Sussex Dance Network's alternative tour of Brighton and Hyde Voices of Motherhood, held at Brighton. Led by verbatim theatre maker Angela Alzine, the session takes place in a light white room. Footage shows participants dancing, laughing and acting together, alongside interviews with Angela and the participants. Also in the space is Betty from Sussex Dance Network. I'm Angela Elzind and I am directing the project Voices of Motherhood. I really wanted to explore, I suppose, the stories and the narratives and the voices of motherhood that we don't often hear about and we don't often talk about. We focus a lot on what mothers should be and how they should behave, but we don't often talk about, well, you don't automatically become a mother. It's something that you, you have to kind of shape into. So what excites me about creating promenade work is this, you know, bringing theatre into the public sort of arena. What we want to do is take the audience on a journey. So each point that we stop at, there's going to be a different performance. And they've all been devised and created by the participants. What interested me about this project and intrigued me was the fact that it was women coming together from all different backgrounds, all different ages, to kind of connect over motherhood. What I think is really powerful about it is it, it helps you recognise through movement what you do on a daily basis that sometimes you're not even conscious of. You get a chance to express something about what has happened over the years of being a mother and that you, there's not always places to express that and to feel like you can meet other mothers but on a, a level of creativity. Really interesting to hear other women's experiences uh, because we're at different stages. Some of us have got very young children, some of us have got much older children or stepchildren. Yeah, and just sharing those those moments together. I saw a great quote in the book about becoming a mother was like learning to drive the day after you've been run over by a truck. And it feels like it's just like, there you go, off you go, we're off now. It's like, oh my god. There are many people experiencing this and we just don't always have a chance to voice it and to hear how we all sort of muddle through. To be empowered by this sense of other people's experiences that we can share but also highlight. The group are phenomenal. They've been so generous with their experiences and time and to see the joy that they experience as they discover things and discover things like dancing together and seeing their excitement. Last week when I went to one of the workshops, I came away and I f felt really empowered. I felt like I'd been through a kind of motion experience that was really uniting. These kinds of projects are really important because they're important in bringing communities of people together where we don't often speak about it, we don't often stop and talk about it. It's just a fabulous thing to do and to feel connected. I think it's great. Audiences should come and see it because they're testimonies, they're real testimonies of mothers and, and experiences. What I hope they take away is an appreciation for what women do and what mums do and maybe they'll sort of give their mum a call when they get home.